taking cash from the citizens of the Christian faith. I heard the people of Germany guess they gave you things they shouldn't give to you. Oh, folks, don't be so sly. It ain't the Christian thing to back or hide from the light. I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I, I nailed my thesis oh, up in Wittenberg. I hope you'd see my point and that you'd be reminded who you are. You are a Catholic. Never mind, I'll make my own religion. I wish God would save your soul. From hell, don't forget me, no way, I'll remember this day. No one should have to pay, just ask to be saved. No one should have to pay, just ask to be Can't you see the 
the only way to earn salvation is to love God? Love God? How can I love someone who I fear so much? So, sometimes I just feel as if I hate him. I'm sending you on a pilgrimage to the holy city of Rome. Maybe there you can find someone to help you understand. It took Luther two months to make the journey, and at first he was overwhelmed to be in the holy city. But that soon wore off when he found that the city as much about money as it was religion. Oh, holy priest, please have mercy on me, for I have sinned and denied God. What must I do to right this wrong? Sinner, you can still go to heaven. Just pay $500. Oh, thank you. Even though the church taught that money was the root of evil, it seemed as though it was their main purpose. The Roman Catholic Church was the most powerful and wealthy empire in the world at that time. One of the main sources of income were indulgences. The church would sell these indulgences to the people and tell them that if they paid the price, paid the price of their sins, they would be forgiven. This practice disgusted Luther. Shocked by the immorality and ignorance of the Roman priests, he returned home even more discouraged than before. Upon his arrival, John von Stuckens directed Luther to earn a doctorate in theology at the University of Wittenberg, and he soon became a professor there. It was while preparing a lecture for his students that he finally found the spiritual enlightening he had been searching for. Romans 117. For therein is the righteousness of God, revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. I think I'm beginning to understand what all of this is about. Maybe the key to salvation isn't to fear God or perform religious works, but faith in Him alone. I'm glad I can see now. salvation of the dead. Support the Pope in construction of St. Peter's Basilica. Luther became very angry when he found out that indulgences were being sold in Saxony. Buying your way into heaven? That's ridiculous. No one has the authority to forgive sins but Christ alone. Selling indulgences, praying to saints, going on pilgrimages, it's all worthless and a fraud. The church is inflicted on the people. Something has got to change. On October 31st, 1517, Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses to the door of the Wittenberg Church. Luther's 95 theses listed all 
95 things he felt was wrong with the Roman Catholic Church. He wrote them in Latin, only intending for his university colleagues to read them. He had no idea of the impact they would have on Christianity in Europe. They were soon translated into German. With the help of Gutenberg's movable printing press, copies were sent throughout Europe. After receiving Luther's shocking letter, the archbishop alerted the people. Your Holiness Pope Leo X, you have to read that someone has criticized the Holy Roman Church. What German drunk would write, write this? At first, the Pope was unamused with Luther's letter and ordered the Augustinian order to deal with it. When invited to the next meeting, Luther feared for his life but was surprised to find that his fellow monks agreed with him. By that time, Luther's 95 Theses had become a sensation among the German people. They were stunned that Luther had challenged the idea that the church could forgive sins. Catholic sports talk church drop Come follow me now. Come follow me now. Catholic church drop out. Catholic church drop out. Come follow me now. When the Pope heard what an uproar the dark unit had caused, he was forced to stop this act of defiance. He wanted to bring Luther to Rome to answer for his heresy. But an important German noble, Frederick the Wise, intervened. Frederick agreed with what Luther had accused the church of and wanted to protect him. Holy Pope, if you're going to trial Martin Luther, you must do it on German soil. Fine, but if he doesn't renounce his, renounce his heresy, he will face excommunication. On October of 1518, a representative of the Pope examined Luther in Augsburg, Germany. Do you realize what you've done? You've gone against the Holy Roman Catholic Church. You must renounce your heresy or you will be excommunicated. Tell you what I've done that's so heretical. heretical. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to recant anything. Luther didn't take back what he said and continued to voice his beliefs. He published writings in the forms of pamphlets criticizing the church. They became very popular. He believed that people should be able to decide on their own beliefs based on the Bible. He also criticized the church for taking money from people and, used, and using it for their own selfish reasons. This idea appealed to many political leaders who were tired of giving money to the church. In June of 1520, Pope Leo X sent Luther a letter threatening to excommunicate him if he didn't recant. Here is a letter from the Holy Order of the Pope. Luther publicly burned the letter, and as a result, he was officially excommunicated in January of 1521. Even after his excommunication, he was still anxious to debate his cause. In April of 1521, Luther was summoned to an imperial diet in Worms, Germany, in Worms, Germany, an, an assembly of German nobles headed by the emperor. Are these your writings? Yes, they are. Will you recant now, yes or no? Unless I am convicted by scripture and plain reason, I do not accept the authority of the Pope and the council. If you do not recant, then I hereby declare you a heretic and outlaw you from the empire. You may return to Wittenberg, but then you have to pay for what you've done. When Frederick the Wise heard what was going on, he again stepped in and rescued Luther. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control. Because the church is going haywire. It's terrifying. I need you, babe, and my life depends on you.
kidnapped, and he took him to hiding for nearly a year. He used his time to write more pamphlets against the church, publish his sermons, and compose pr Protestant hymns. He also translated the New Testament into German so everyone could read the Word of God for themselves. In 1522, he finally returned to Wittenberg where he married and had six ch children. As a father, he knew the importance of educating children to be able to read the Bible and urged city councils to educate children for their role in society. As his radical religious ideas spread, many people were being converted to Lutherism. This left him to sort out issues between the church and the state. He developed the doctrine called the Two Kingdoms when stated that government and religion should be separated. He thought that everyone would interpret the Bible the way he did, but that was far from true. As people had different ideas and beliefs, churches would split into different denominations. The bone works of Martin, Martin Luther affected the world forever. Drifting. 